In the last class, we learnt about controllers and how programs are instructions to the controller for the actions we want the robot to take. You're going to be introduced today to a powerful visual tool to help you create these programs today, a flowchart. A flowchart is a simple idea. It's a drawing linking the actions that we need the robot to take and they need to be completed in the correct order so that the main goal of an activity is achieved. Let's use brushing our teeth in the morning as an easy example to get started in creating flowcharts. The first action will be to place the toothpaste onto your toothbrush. And then the second would be to brush your teeth for two minutes. And then finally, the third action would be to rinse. So we have three actions in an order to successfully complete the objective of brushing our teeth. It sounds very simple, but let's think about what would happen if we put those actions out of order. Say if we brushed our teeth first and then put toothpaste on the toothbrush and then rinsed our mouth. Would we have successfully brushed our teeth? I don't think so. So it's important to think about what actions need to be taken and what order those actions are in. And that's where a flowchart is really powerful, even though it might be a simple drawing with boxes linked with lines. It's such a simple idea, but it can be used for nearly any task that needs to be completed. It doesn't even have to be a computer program. All right, give activity one a go.